Welcome to Talking IoT, a series of short, enlightening conversation on what's happening across the Internet of Things. I'm your host, Megan Leaders, Chief Marketing Officer of Silicon Labs. And here with me today is a complete pleasure to introduce Matt Johnson, the president of Silicon Labs, who is going to speak with us on this very important topic of matter. Welcome, Matt. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Well, great. So following up from last time we spoke, we discussed the announcement, and we were all waited for this big announcement on Project CHIP. Um, it's now Matter, and we touched a little bit on what Matter means to the IoT industry. Uh, perhaps let's start, take a step back and start with those uh, that aren't as familiar with the standard. Maybe just, just recap, what is Matter and who should be considering investing in it? Uh, sure. So for those who aren't familiar, uh, Matter is the name for the project formerly known as CHIP, which was connected home over IP. And if you think about what this is, it's really a rather remarkable industry-wide initiative where our whole industry is coming together with the goal of making it easier to connect IoT devices by simplifying things for both developers and consumers. So it's, it's a big deal and really unprecedented in our space. What it does is it builds on top of existing connectivity protocols like Wi-Fi, Thread, and Bluetooth to enable cross-platform communication uh, across IoT systems, including embedded devices and products, mobile apps, and cloud services. So it's really the industry coming together in multiple ways to make it easier to connect things. And it's the first of its kind. What are the benefits that we're going to see from Matter? And, and I assume it's all about the sim simplification of wireless connectivity. Maybe, maybe elaborate a little bit on that. Uh, sure. So if, if you think about what it's doing, it it's focuses on security, reliability, and seamless connectivity. If you want to think of three you know, key, key pillars. Uh, but what it's doing is, you're right, it's simplifying development by providing a unified connectivity standard across a whole bunch of applications. So think about you know, LED bulbs, door locks, HVAC, commercial lighting. And it also works across multiple popular wireless standards, like I mentioned earlier. And it works across popular ecosystems like Amazon Alexa, Google Home, Apple HomeKit. So it really is broad in going across these different ecosystems, wireless standards, and different applications. So what this does is it allows consumers to add new products and brands to their smart home without worrying if it will work or not, which is a really big milestone in our industry. Very, very different. I know we're all excited about it. And the other thing I know is that we have been talking about Project Chip for, for months, quarters, almost years. And, and part of that is because of our involvement in the development of Matter. Can you speak to us about what, what is our role and it, how are we supporting Matter? Sure. So we're involved in quite a few ways, actually. Uh, so we were one of the original seven founding members of Matter. And, you know, because we have strong expertise in the underlying wireless protocols and technologies, uh, we're really helping to drive Matter development as much as we can. We believe in it. Uh, we're actually the largest code developer or contributor of any semiconductor company uh, in supporting Matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to fully integrate Matter uh, within our SDK, within Simplicity Studio, and add our own set of comprehensive tools to provide a complete and certified solution for our developers. And that will be a very similar experience to what we're doing today for our other protocol stacks and ecosystems that we support. So what we'll do is we'll offer a wide range of matter compatible silicon and software and tools. Uh, so our developers and customers can bring matter to uh, market as soon as possible. Perfect. Perfect. Well, again, I know we are, we are super excited to see, um, to see everything launch and, and glad that it is here. Uh, but we would be remiss if we didn't also touch on the topic of security and sure. how does matter improve the security of IOT devices? Sure. Uh, if you think about it, and it makes sense, security is a core tenant for Matter. Uh, it is becoming a, an integral part of any IoT end solution, uh, end node device, uh, that security is, is integral and built in. So what Matter is doing is it's including uh, what you want and need for security, including authentication of devices, joining the network, uh, encryption of all messages, all the way to the destination, it uses uh, proven cryptographic algorithms and supports over-the-air updates securely. 
So this is what you'd want to see in, in this type of standard. On top of that, uh, Silicon Labs can add additional layers of protection uh, and security for our customers with our award-winning Secure Vault technology. So this offers literally the highest level of IoT hardware and software security that's available today in the marketplace. So that combination is, is really powerful and we think that's was why we're seeing such a resonance with our customers because of that combination of ease of use and interoperability with security. It's, it's really a strong combination. Absolutely, very much so. And so if I'm, if I'm someone that wants to certify a device with Matter, how do I, where do I get started? How do I do that? Uh, sure, so the CERT program is still in development in, in the Matter Working Group uh, for, for that. And the key though is while we're working on that, Matter is open source. So you can start prototyping today uh, with our hardware and software uh, ahead of the standard being finalized mid next year. So the standard is expected to be launched mid of 22. And at that point, the CERT program will be up and running and available as part of the launch and support of that. Perfect, I know everyone is, is very anxious to get their hands on it and to be certified. And, and this is truly just an exciting time for our industry, for our customers, and really for the advancement of IoT. And, and our customers have been talking about it for a while mm -hmm. and ready to see it come to life. But when we think about even, you know, when that, when that day comes, what's next, right? Like, so here we have it, what's next for the standard? And when can we expect to see, you know, the full spec be available? Sure, so yeah, if you think about what, what's happening, it, it is taking longer than people want and, and we should recognize that, but that's also because of what we're actually undertaking when we're doing this. We literally have the industry coming together, like I said before, across all these applications, all these protocols, all these ecosystems and all these leaders in the market working together to make something that's durable and will really provide that interoperability and experience for developers and for consumers. So it's not a trivial undertaking, it's substantial. And the fact that it has actually gone this far and gaining momentum is really a huge milestone for the industry and for Matter. But the punchline is, uh, like I said earlier, if you want to start developing and prototyping today, you can. But the current target is a release mid next year, mid 2022. And like I said, at that time, the CERT program will be available as part of that uh, for our customers. But if you want to start sooner ahead of the release mid next year, you can do that. So we do see a lot of customers because of the momentum uh, wanting to start sooner, but we also see others who want to wait until the finalization mid next year. Uh, so you have flexibility in that regard on which way you want to go. Perfect. You are absolutely right though. It is extraordinarily impressive to see these companies come together and work on something that is going to really change the trajectory of the industry for years to come. And we're all volunteers. We all give of our time to do this. Um, so right. to see it come together is super exciting for us. Well, Matt, thank you so much for joining today. Greatly appreciate your insights into unifying standard of matter. Uh, for more information about getting started with matter, please visit our website, scilabs.com slash matter. Thank you. Thank you.